We found a man who is fixing Africa's air pollution with motorbikes. Yes, these motorbikes. Hi, Nastere. My name is Engineer, and yes, that's my real name. Engineer was really frustrated with the air quality in his city, Kampala, Uganda. People were getting sick from it. But when he tried to find out how polluted the air was, he realized that no one knew. No one knew how polluted the air is. Because the sensors to test air quality cost $30,000. And no one in my city had one. This was not just a problem in his city, it was a problem everywhere. Only seven countries in the whole of Africa had correct data about air quality. If you don't know how bad the air is, how can you fix it? This is partly because of the huge cost of uh, setting up air quality monitoring stations. So engineer worked and worked until he made a device that could test the air for just $150, from $30,000 to $150. Now that is affordable. And here is the genius part. He made hundreds of these sensors and put them on motorbikes. Because an air sensor on a building can only test one place at one time. But if you put one sensor on a motorbike, you can test 100 places in one day. Now, there are over 150 air sensors all around Uganda on motorbikes, on top of buildings, on top of traffic lights, everywhere. Before, no one knew how polluted the air was, but now everyone knows and they want to fix it. His invention is making people clean the air. The government of Uganda has created a new route to protect the air and they've used our data about uh, air pollution to make it happen. Because of this incredible idea, Google.org awarded Engineer and his team over $3 million in grant money that helped make all of this happen. The early support was huge. It allowed us to help many people and expand to many more places. Not just in Kampala, but all over Africa in eight different cities. We need more people like him, like the motorbike riders, like Google.org and the entire community to come together and fix the air we breathe.